The Creation of a Gambler The artist, who has been living in Germany for many years, studied at the Academy of Fine Arts in Minsk, Russia, in the 1980s. By renouncing an individual color application to a subjective gesture, he achieves a strong dominance of the objects shown in all his paintings. All the objects have a life of their own. He invents new worlds in the pictures, which seem real and valid through the perfection of the representation. In the triptych, The Creation of a Gambler, Kai Kawus has certainly achieved this creative act. Like a creator, the artist is in a position to invent objects as well as persons and to relate them to one another. The entire triptych has a format of 150 by 300 centimeters. The three sections of the painting show different scenes. A common element, however, is a cord in which red cloths are hanging on it. It begins from the left picture on a mast, on which porcelain insulators are shown, as they existed on old intercity lines, and are fastened and ends in the right is a knob on a bed. The three carved panels with connected images that are hinged together represent the creation. On the left side, we can see the original creator, but he is no longer active. He only seems to think about what he has created. In the center, it is the homo faber or homo ludens, the active man, the main player. And on the right, it is the woman, perhaps the fantasy, the dream worlds create. All in all, it is a wonderful world that Kai Kawus gives us here with his triptych. A world that is dreamy, yet painted so realistic. Everything is perfectly reproduced. Every detail is right, and the composition of things is wonderful. And this is the artist's ability to create the creator. He can make things, and figures emerge from nothingness, make something visible, but also disappear. All these points to another reality. This painting will be exhibited from the 2nd to the 26th of March, 2017, at the MKG Annual Exhibition in the Egyptian Museum in Munich.